Hey movie club, so today I am reviewing the movie Annie. Annie is pretty much this musical that came out in the uh, early 80s uh, about a little ginger girl that um, she was in a god awful orphanage and you know she was just like one day wanting to escape and get out either find her true parents or parent or people that would take her and of course it was run by this complete witch and well she gets adopted by this billionaire guy but then shenanigans and stuff and all that shit hell breaks loose because the person that runs the orphanage doesn't want her to go but at the same time it was like wait what <laughs> but anyways this movie uh... All right. Actually, I, I saw it when I was younger, though, and I've also seen this movie on Broadway. And to be honest with you, seeing seeing this movie on Broadway is so much, was about a billion times better than seeing it, just like watching it on screen. And I, I just gotta say, this movie was way too long for me to watch. Uh, within an hour, I was getting bored of it. I mean, I, I, I knew what was going on, but I'm just like, I, r I really don't care, you know. I'm I'm happy, I'm grateful I wasn't an orphan. Um, I'm glad that my parents, like, didn't, you know, abandon me and stuff. But at the same time, it, it was just like, ah. I don't know, your, your perspective changes when you're a kid, though. And when I was, I saw this when I was little, though, like, maybe four or five, and I'm 24 right now, but I saw it, and I mean, I enjoyed it and stuff, though, it was like a musical, you know, singing, you know, songs tomorrow, and it's a hard nut life, I, I understand that, but, and then seeing it now, it, it was just like, yeah, okay, I, I understand where you're going with this, but it's, I don't know, maybe it's a generation thing, though, because I know people who are a little older, like, probably past a certain age, you know, or probably, like, you know, maybe over 50, and stuff like baby boomers, like my parents, they would enjoy it more than someone who was, like, born a little after, like, around my generation, born in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. It's just, it, yeah, it, it just wasn't there, though. I, I tried to like the movie, but I can't. It's, it was just so boring to watch. And I, I was like, yeah, it, it, I, I, I didn't care about it too much, though. But, again, uh, I mean, the characters, are, you know, typical, you know, the, Annie, the uh the lady Miss Hannigan who was running the orphan and then the billionaire guy. It you could kinda see the typical mantra, you know, just though back then. But I guess if this movie were to remake itself, uh I don't know, it might be better than the original, but that's just me. Um, I just uh Acting, I, I can't really say that much about the acting, though. The acting was just okay. Um, I, I don't know if I would recommend it, though. I guess if you were born before 1964, then you, yeah, you probably will like it. Maybe after, I don't know, I doubt it. It depends on your movie genre, but personally, nah. I give it probably about a D, maybe a 4 out of 10. But, but that's just, just my scale. And, yeah, that's really all I gotta say about the movie. Annie. Wow. I'm glad my life was better than hers. But, wait, no, that didn't. I, w I wish my parents were building there, but that, that wasn't the case, unfortunately. Alright, movie club. Have a good day.